everybody, it's Ashley with Plain People Picnic and in this video I'm going to be showing you two vegan barbecue recipes that are simple and satisfying and also loved by vegans and meat eaters alike, which makes them perfect for your next barbecue potluck. I'll leave the link to the full recipes on my blog in the description box below. First off, we're going to be making some immediate barbecue saiton and then add veggies to make barbecue kebabs. To make the saiton, we'll first need vital wheat gluten, chickpea flour, nutritional yeast, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, and black pepper. Then mix well. Now to a separate bowl, add barbecue sauce, oil, soy sauce, tomato paste, water, and salt, and stir until well combined. Now add your liquid mixture to the dry ingredients and mix until well combined. Depending on the consistency of your wet ingredients, you may need to add a bit more vital wheat gluten. I'm adding about a tablespoon of vital wheat gluten at a time while mixing it in. You want the dough to have a thick and elastic consistency. Once the dough is well mixed, knead the dough for about five minutes. Continue to fold the dough over itself and press down. Next, tear off small pieces of saiton and roll them between your hands. Then wrap each piece of saiton in tin foil and place onto a steamer over water. Repeat until all the pieces of saiton are wrapped up. Steam on the stove top at medium heat for one hour. Now cut up your veggies into bite-sized pieces. You want the veggie pieces to be all about the same size so that they cook evenly on the grill. Break up the cooked pieces of saiton into bite-sized pieces. Now you are finally ready to add everything to this gyros. I like to alternate different types of veggies with the saiton. Add this gyros to your grill or barbecue and cook for a few minutes on each side until they are golden brown and start to get grill marks. And finally, brush on your favorite barbecue sauce and enjoy! Up next, we're going to make vegan Mexican street corn with a chipotle mayo and parmesan cheese topping. To make the parmesan cheese, you will need cashews, nutritional yeast, garlic powder, and salt. Process in a food processor until you achieve a fine meal. And set that aside. For the chipotle mayo, add soaked cashews, garlic powder, smoked paprika, cumin, chili powder, chipotle chili powder, salt, water, and lime juice to a blender and blend until very smooth. At this point, I transferred the mixture to a ninja blender because the food processor wasn't doing that great. Now remove the husks from the corn. You could take them partially off and tie them or you could keep tearing them up and french braid them to look extra fancy schmancy. Now place the ears of corn directly onto the grill. Cook for about three minutes on each side or until kernels turn golden brown and charred. Finally, drizzle the chipotle mayo over the cooked corn. Sprinkle on the Parmesan cheese, some chili powder, and fresh cilantro. And enjoy! Thanks for watching! Be sure to leave a comment down below on your favorite vegan barbecue recipe and which one of these recipes you're excited to try it first. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also follow me on Instagram. And I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye!